Basically, like I said, my name is Kyle Hunt, kylehuntfitness.com, ISSA certified personal trainer, and uh, I'm an exercise science major here. I'm a junior, got one more year here, so I'm actually in class with a lot of you guys. <laughs> So what is good nutrition? I have four points up here that it's going to be a reoccurring theme throughout the presentation. I'm going to hit on all four of them. Uh, properly controls energy balance. And what I mean by that is calories in versus calories out. And that goes back to the calorie requirements on the sheets. Uh, really, that's the basis of, of proper nutrition. You can eat really healthy or, or quote unquote healthy foods and if uh, your calories are too high, you're still going to gain weight. Or if they're too low, you're going to lose weight if, if that's not your goal. So that it really, that's what it boils down to. And then providing nutrient density. So building upon the energy balance idea of calories in versus calories out, you want to have nutrient-dense food. And we're going to have, you know, we're going to talk about that and what that means. But just to give you an idea is, obviously you guys all know that some foods have more uh, nutrients in them than, than others. And that's really all it's about. It's going to come down to the calorie content, versus nutrient content of that specific food. Uh, and then, good nutrition should achieve health, body composition, and performance goals. So whether you're an athlete looking to improve performance, that's, you know, your nutrition is gonna be uh, geared towards that, or you just wanna, you know, better your health, your nutrition is gonna be geared towards that, or body composition. So if you wanna lose weight, you gotta gear your nutrition plan in order to lose weight and set yourself up for weight loss. Or to gain weight, you just set up the opposite way. And then honest and outcome based. And what that's saying is a lot of times with nutrition plans, uh, one thing I do with my clients is, you know, I'll send them the, the you know, nutrition plan right off the bat. And a lot of times they'll think, well, shoot, this is gonna, you know, this one nutrition plan you made for me is gonna, you know, last throughout my whole transformation. And that's not the case. As your body changes, as you lose weight, you have to adjust your nutrition plan to fit your changing body. And, you gotta have the outcome base. So if you're not making progress, you gotta make changes. If you are making progress, keep with it until you do hit a plateau and then make adjustments. So that's what that means. So energy balance. So like I said, it's really the balance between calories in versus calories out. A calorie is really just a measure of heat and it's the energy of the body. Uh, really, when you're talking about calories, it's everything you eat has calories in it and everything adds up to hit your you know huge calorie total for the day and what makes up calories in food is the macronutrients so protein like I said up there four calories per gram so every gram of protein equates to four calories same with carbohydrates and if you look fat is double that so nine calories per gram uh, does anybody know how many calories per gram alcohol is <coughs> anybody seven Seven calories per gram is alcohol. So even though you might, you know, be getting just straight alcohol, it still has calories in it. So I think that's something that people don't realize. You, you know, think straight alcohol is better than beer, which it is slightly in calorie standpoint, but you're still getting calories as well. So determining calorie intake. This is where we're going to get into the sheets. Not quite yet, but. What we're gonna talk about is how we come up with these numbers. These, you know, a lot of people think it's just random numbers, but there's, you know, I have two calculations on there we're gonna to get to, and we're gonna be calculating actually our BMR. And if you look up there, it's RMR, which is resting metabolic rate. That would be the calories your body requires in bed rest. Just absolute, no movement whatsoever. Uh, if you didn't do anything, just to stay alive, that would be your calorie requirement. BMR is your basal metabolic rate. That's uh, just your daily calories without any exercise worked into it. That's what we're going to find. Then you have to account for the TEF or thermogenic effect of feeding. So actually when you eat food, it requires your body to burn calories or that food burns calories. Uh, exercise activity, obviously you burn calories while you're exercising. And then NEAT is uh, calories burned outside of exercise. You know, walking to class, walking up a flight of stairs, uh, just doing daily activities. And that has to be required as well. And know the calorie requirements. That's why I am really going to emphasize on this because without knowing your calorie requirements, you're just going into it blind. You're, you're not having any goal set in mind and anybody that just eats without knowing your calories, it's, it's hard to make adjustments if you're not seeing results. So calculating the BMR. We have 
three different formulas up here, the catch mccardle which is on your sheet, and the Mifflin equation, which is also on your sheet. But the reason I put the harris benedict formula up there is because you see that the most. It's, you know, if you're looking at most older textbooks, you're going to see that equation, and it's not very accurate. It was actually uh, created in 1919 on a group of really healthy young men, and then they took the results and based the equation off from that. So if you think about it, if the equation's built off from young, healthy men, then what if you're an uh, unhealthy, overweight female? How do you think the calculations are going to go? And what it does is actually put your calorie requirements way too high. And in 2003, they did a study, and they took, uh, I think, five or six different of these equations, and the Mifflin <coughs> equation actually came out on top. Uh, but there is a major difference here between the Mifflin equation, harris benedict equation, or formula, and the catch mccardle the catch mccardle like it says on your sheet, requires you to have a pretty good understanding of your body composition or body fat. Now, that's the most accurate formula that I've came across or actually worked with. And, but the only downside is you really have to know your body fat percentage. So if it wasn't, if you didn't get it done um, pretty accurate, just, the results aren't going to be very good. If people just put into you know, a, a guess or something, the, the values are going to be way off. So that's why we're... I put it on the sheet to know it because it's the most accurate, but we're not going to use that today because unless anybody has recently got their body fat tested done accurately, anybody here in my class, we did. Anybody in my fitness and uh, nutrition class, we got ours done. Uh, so the Mifflin equation, it's different for men and women. Uh, <coughs> it's, right, it's on your sheet. We're going to go through that in a minute. But just to take a look, um, it is in weight in kilograms, so if you don't know, it's just divide your weight in pounds by 2.2, and then your height in inches to get your height in centimeters. So if you guys want to fill out the sheet, you're probably going to have to take out a separate sheet of paper because I don't think there's room on that sheet, and uh, we can just come up with calorie totals, or calculate your BMR. And then once you come up with your BMR uh, calculation, and then we're going to account for our activity multiplier. On your sheet, it gives you kind of an estimate of where you might fall in that range. And this is what's going to account for your exercise, the thermogenic effect of feeding, which is, I think on the sheet, is, accounts for about 15%, which is about average for a balanced nutrition plan. Balanced meaning uh, pretty equal amounts of protein, carbohydrates, and fats in percentages of total calories. If you guys need any help, I can come around and help out. 